Hey guys, welcome to today's uh, video where I ask you a question. How many of you uh, business owners out there, you know, you still struggle with doing a lot of things in your business uh, despite having like a pretty full team, you know, you've got like 20, 30, 50 people in your company, but you're still very, very busy doing stuff. And this is where I'd really like to share this with you. When you get to a point and you start having a team, it's no longer about getting stuff done right, you know, correct. And it's not about that anymore. Perhaps when you were um, one person, two person, five person show, that would be important to get stuff done right. But when you start having a team, it's not about the right stuff anymore because we're not aiming for perfection. What we really want is the process of them working together and achieving a common goal. So it's not about perfection, but it's all about the process. This video, I'm gonna share with you what are so many benefits that we can have when the team works together and does the stuff. You see, face it guys, and, and, and this is something that I really wanna share with you because business owners out there, you know, some of us have been in business for 10 years, 20 years, and you know, very frankly, when we, get st when we start doing stuff, you know, it takes us like what? 30 minutes to do something, you know, to get a task done, you know, write an email, it takes us like what, let's say 30 minutes for what our team may take, what, three days or even three weeks to be able to achieve. So sometimes because we want to get stuff done right and we want to get stuff done fast, you know, we do it ourselves, but then, ah, you know, that leaves us with a lot of things to do, you know, and, and business owners out there, we do have a lot of things to do and sometimes choosing what we do is so difficult but hey, could your team really help you out? So here I have some pointers for you, all right? So listen up. When they do the work, there are so many benefits. Number one, they take a whole lot more ownership. When they start cracking at your SOPs, your systems, your processes, they take a whole lot more ownership when they are actually formulating the systems in their company, you know, and a lot of employees take a lot of pride in that. And then when things go wrong or when things are not right, they go, oh my gosh, I got to fix this stuff. And they go right ahead and they fix it without having you to be stepping in and saying, hey, why is this not working? Why is that not working? Ah! And then you get so frustrated. Ah! And you know, actually employees love to do that. They love to be able to contribute where they can. Number two, and this is, this is related to point one, they get to think about it. You know, when you get your team working together, they get to think, they get to come up, they get to brainstorm, they get to create new ideas, you know, versus just, hmm, this is what my boss told me, so I'm just gonna do it. You know, and that comes back down to ownership as well, because if my boss told me to do it, I'm just gonna do it, whether it's right or wrong, well, he told me to do it she said so you know and so you you get reactions like that because they don't get to think there's no thought process in it so that's number two number three they actually get to work together it's actual teamwork versus i call it boss work you know when they go to work they're just waiting for the boss to say okay today do this number one tomorrow do that number two and so they're waiting for a push and play but when they actually work together that's called teamwork and the company can work together and possibly at some point without you in it and that's when you get a business that works without you. Number four, they get to contribute, you know, and, and, and this is to the contrary. A lot of business owners think that uh, employees just come to work, they just want to get paid, they just want some salaries, blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, a lot of employees love to contribute to the improvement of their company, how they can improve the work environment, how they can improve client and customer happiness, you know, because they're faced up to the customer all the time and they don't want to see, you know, I'm so unhappy. They want to see people happy when they walk away from their store, walk away from their center. And actually, employees do know, team members, they do know what can be done to improve these things and they want to contribute, come from that premise versus some business owners and leaders that say, yeah, you know, they just come to work for a salary, you know, and, and that's a very poor way to think for a business owner, first of all. But, you know, we're undermining our team members' abilities. And number five, this is a very important one. When they start working together, we start hearing how they think. 
they start thinking out loud. You say, oh, can we try this? Can we try that? You know, as a business owner, when they start working together, you get to hear the competencies, the capabilities of our team. And you know, more importantly is that when we start hearing these things, it helps us to build that trust, that confidence that we have in them. And of course, the confidence they have back in us, you know, trust, of course, is built both ways, but that confidence starts to build up. You know, it starts to build up and say, ah, actually, my, my guys really do know what to do. Wow, this is awesome. But you just got to be able to let go first. So there you have it, guys. These are the top five very, very important uh, uh, benefits. You know, when you start getting your team working together, well, this is where all the magic starts to happen and if, and if you have you know a company with 20 or 30 people and then you're, you're, you're paying salaries every month and you say hey you know why am i still so busy well this is it because you just got to be able to let go remember guys you know it's really uh, not about perfection it's not about perfection it's not about getting it right it's not about getting it accurate it's really about the process trust is a process and Rome was not built in one day Rome was not built in one night so therefore work the process trust the process and build that trust you know guys what I may share with you is also this you may not have to trust such a big thing to your team you know and go oh my gosh I'm gonna trust this million dollar event to them and all right go make it happen all right make some magic guys like woohoo you know, start with something small, you know, start with getting them to build on a feedback form, you know, start putting together some FAQs. Guys, you've know, been getting a lot of complaints from customers. I want you to go and put down the top five things that customers are complaining about and what can we do about it, you know, and then let's meet in about a week and then we'll talk about it. Let's brainstorm. I've got some of my own ideas, but I really want to hear from you as well. Start with something small, okay? So gang, hit subscribe if you really enjoy uh, this video, this channel uh, will give you a lot of different tips and tricks for the entrepreneur, the business owner, it doesn't matter whether you've been in business for um, uh, three months or you've been in business for three years, 10 years, 20 years, a lot of these things are going to help you to have a different perspective. Um, I launch new tips and tricks every single week uh, and also please share, uh, please share if you find that this video is going to help someone, if it's helped you, uh, please share this video out. Um, but stay tuned because I'm going to be able to share more stuff because guys um, Have a great business and have a great life because being in business is all about having a better life Take care, and I'll see you next week